Hello students, welcome to one more mini lecture. In this mini lecture, before we actually start writing C programs, it is important to understand or know the commonly used terminology in programming. In order to write a program, we will need to type the program and then compile the program and run the program to get the output. So you need to understand some of the terminology which is used so that you are very comfortable when you are learning the coding or when you are doing the coding assignments. The first thing is we are going to use in our practical rooms or in our labs something called as an integrated development environment. Before this integrated development environment came into picture you would type your code in something called as a editor then on the command line you would come and compile that then you would use a different tool to find out errors known as debugging so an integrated development environment is a software which provides you a facility to type to compile to run and debug your code in a single place that's why you have the word integrated since you do the complete development in one place it's known as a integrated development environment or IDE commonly in C a very famous one is the code blocks the code blocks IDE is available on Windows available on Apple Macintosh as well as available on Linux so you feel free to go ahead download and install it on your PCs or laptops so for example for Java we can use Eclipse for C++ and Microsoft products we can end up using Visual Studio these are other examples of integrated development environments commonly used so IDE or the integrated development environment consists of an editor an editor is something similar to a notepad where you are able to type in the program or the code but the editor in an IDE is really sophisticated in the sense that it will highlight certain words known as keywords okay it will color the screen in different places so that you are able to easily understand your code then the next thing is in order to compile your code you need to compile your code from a high level language to an object code because the machine level language is the only code your computer really understands so the compilation facility is provided within this IDE by pressing one or two shortcut keys you can compile your code without having to go out of the integrated development environment now it is almost impossible that you will be writing big programs without making any errors so in order to correct these errors errors in programs are known as bugs the process of removing these errors is known as debugging in order to remove the errors in the code debugging support is provided within the integrated development environment for now lot of what I am talking may not make sense but once you begin to get into the practical rooms or the lab or I show you a demo code using the IDE you will get a very good feel of how programs are typed how they are compiled and how they are executed as well as how they are debugged so errors in code is known as bugs the process of removing the errors in code is known as debugging now in an integrated development environment you will run the code as well as you will see the output of the code by sitting or being yourself or placing yourself within the IDE you do not have to go out of the IDE to run the program so once you click on a certain shortcut key it will run the code for you after compiling also known as the process of building and then it will give you an output window where you can enter data as your program asks or it can also produce the output of the program now since we are in a very unique situation okay we are not just going to rely on using the integrated development environment because it requires a PC or a laptop to be installed since I believe about 60% plus of you are using the mobile phones we will be typing our program online itself within your browser using 
an environment called as the online GDB C compiler environment. So what if you do is if you type in in Google search online GDB C compiler and you click in on the first link. Okay, you will see what I am talking about. So all of this is just going to be explained, but I'm just giving you an idea of the different terms or terminology we are going to use. Editor to type the program, compilation to convert the program in high level language to object code or machine code. Debugging is a process of removing errors. Okay, and running is when you, after compilation, you want to see whether the program is producing the output you are looking for. So running is the process of making the program execute so that you can see whether it is producing what you have written in the sense what code you have written whether it is exactly producing what you expected so i believe this should give you a starting point of understanding the basic terminology as we go ahead i'll make you familiar with a lot more things in our journey so if you don't understand a lot of these things at this point absolutely nothing to worry because these will be clear as we end up going and starting to do the coding on our own so i'll be doing most of the demo of the coding using the online gdb compiler because the majority of the students have a smartphone and they're going to use the browser but i will also make an effort to show you how to use the integrated development environment because when you come into the practical hall you will not be using the online gdb you will be using the integrated development environment for producing the code or running the code